The Rhine River is quiet in the morning, even with a brisk wind blowing. The approach to Cologne is a classic picture. On the west bank, the great twin-towered Gothic cathedral. On the river, the world's busiest railroad bridge. Passengers disembark and join guides. There is much to see in Cologne, even in the short walk to the cathedral. The cathedral is impressive, the second highest in the world at 515 feet. Inside, the true glory of the cathedral is evident. The slim, delicate lines of the choir contrast with the massiveness of the structure. Sculptured figures of kings and prophets, some in solid gold, carvings, paintings, and offset naves. Some treasures date back to the 11th century. The outside facade is the largest in Christendom and was an ongoing part of the 600 plus years of work. A section of Roman wall with an arch dates back to 100 AD. The original Roman main city gate is an imposing structure dating from 79 AD. The original city name of Colonia became the Colm of today, but the name Cologne, possibly from Ode Cologne, is most common worldwide. Napoleon introduced the system of numbering buildings to Germany. The number 4711 became synonymous with Cologne products. The Cologne Company headquarters is a popular tourist stop. The Cologne flows freely. This city of history has its softer side, an outstanding botanical garden. The world's busiest train bridge has had on one day a record 1,000 trains cross over. The average is nearer 650, with perhaps as many boats passing under. Departure from Cologne is a panoramic picture and a reminder of a visit to a beautiful city. You'll see all of this and more on an Ama Waterways River Cruise.